What is going on, everyone? Leon checking in, and we're at it again with another episode. First off, happy 2023, and this year is going to be very exciting for technology. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the Google Play Games Beta, which allows you to play Android games on your PC. And this is also a demonstration of a growing alliance between Google and Microsoft. Now, if you are watching this episode on YouTube, you can find it on the Modern Gamer playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. And for reference, I am performing this tutorial on the HP Omen 16 gaming laptop. And as always, you can find this item and related items at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about how to set this up. First, you're going to want to navigate to the Google Play Store in a web browser, and I'll provide the link for the Google Play Store so that you can easily access it. Next, we're going to scroll down until we see a banner, and this is going to be pretty far down the page. And it's going to read, take mobile game into your PC, Google Play Games Beta, and then we will click on the banner. This opens a new page where you can download the beta. Now download and install takes under five minutes, so it's fairly quick. Now once the application is installed and opened, you can sign in by clicking on sign in with Google. And this opens a new page where you can sign into your Google account. We can then view and verify our Google Play Games profile and accept terms and the privacy agreements. Now, once all of this is complete, we're going to have access to the Google Play Games beta, but there is a disclaimer. If we look in the lower left-hand corner here, we have this pop-up to install games, turn on an additional window setting, then restart your computer. So to turn on this additional window setting, we would click on continue. So the additional windows feature we'll be turning on is called Windows Hypervisor Platform, and it's required to install most games and my guess is this allows you to run emulators which i believe the whole idea behind this is this google play games beta is really an emulator for running android games on the pc so we do want to turn on this option so we're going to click on continue now once you've restarted your device and opened up the application there is going to be a brief setup process but once complete your page should look like this and then we can access our games by going to the panel on the left here and looking for all games and clicking on it and then we're going to have this list here it's not going to be a very long list we have to keep in mind that this application is in beta i also haven't tried a lot of these games yet but they do look promising. And the really cool idea here, again, is that you can start a game on Android and continue it to your PC, or you can start it on PC and continue it to your Android. And what's also really nice here is that your cloud progress does transfer between the two. Really nice feature. So let's talk performance. As for gameplay, there were some control issues. First, we wanna mention that you are most likely going to have to use a keyboard and mouse. Now I did try a Xbox wireless controller with no luck and I also tried a Stadia controller that was wired and that didn't work as well. Now the issues with the controls is sometimes the controls are explained in the game but they don't work on the hardware as they are explained in the game. So you may have to experiment with your keyboard or your mouse to get the controls down. And then I did try Asphalt 9, a favorite of mine, and unfortunately I couldn't get the game to go full screen. Just a small inconvenience. Now all these points considered, I would say these are small inconveniences considering this application is in beta. Now I would like to see a longer list of games. This list isn't very long we don't have a lot of the games that you would see if you did a search on the google play store on android now i also could use a keyboard and mouse no issue there in fact it seems very much like pc gaming but i would like to see wired or wireless controller support in the future but overall although this application is in beta and we do have those small inconveniences this works really well with everything you could do so far so that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. 
The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy, and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out. Yeah.